Welcome to Age Reversing Health, where we discuss ways to help you go far beyond just surviving this life. With practical and proven solutions to literally turning the clock back on aging so you can live your best life. Live younger for longer. Now, here's your hosts, Carl Krebs and Judy Friesen. Well, hello, Carl Krebs here, live from Dallas, Texas, at the LifeWave World Conference 2024. And tonight on the show, Things That Matter, we have the privilege of interviewing Dr. John Harmon, the author of the book, Age Reversing Health. And I want you to pay attention to what Dr. Harmon has to say about this amazing product called LifeWave X39. You know, never mistake a long life for a good life. And talking about the difference between health span and lifespan is just as important. So these copper peptides that are in our body are part of what LifeWave patches do, stimulating the body. So tonight at 6 o'clock, come and watch what Dr. Harmon, a respected medical doctor, has to say about LifeWave patches. See you at 6 o'clock right here on Things That Matter. Well, this is Carl Krebs. I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. John Harmon, author of, uh, I think, what's going to be a best-selling book. What do you think, John? It's starting out that way. Great. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time to join me here on Things That Matter. My pleasure. And uh, we're going to be talking about How to Reverse Aging by Dr. John Harmon here. And this book, I believe, was released in August 2023, just Correct. over a year ago, right? <clears throat> Correct. Here's the question I have. You, you mentioned something in the book about supplement fatigue it's an interesting concept because it jumped right out of the pages as me as i thought of it and then i thought of the people that say you know i've been taking this and this and this and this check, but, check, I'm, check, check, check. but i'm not getting the results right expand on that thought for a minute john the reason i put that in there uh, for the description of the book is because i've been a healthcare provider for 35 years now and Patient after patient after patient would tell me that. I've tried this, I've gone to this naturopath, this medical doctor, this car. I've taken so many things, but nothing seems to help. And then uh, after doing the research for this peptide that we're going to be talking about, there are, there are various pathways in our body where these nutrients are utilized that might have some stoppages if you don't have an ample supply of that peptide. So before we go any further, and credentials being what they are, discuss with our audience what your credentials are, because you have yeah. a fair number of post-nominal letters behind <laughs> your name, I noticed. I just picked so, some alphabet also, letters. And, uh, I also found out you graduated cum laude in your class. So give us a, a background of your education, John. Well, my, my licensure is in chiropractic. Um, after getting my license for chiropractic, I went and got board certified in oxidative medicine as well, which is using ozone and oxygen and doing IV therapies, helping people with Lyme, mold, Epstein-Barr, chronic, chronic things like that. Um, the FDA didn't like, in Idaho, we had that as part of our licensure for 30 years. And they'd, they'd always been trying to figure out how do we keep chiropractors from kind of getting in on our area so they they changed the law and that was that vitamins that are injected or in an iv are now a prescription and so i had to stop doing that okay uh, my other certifications uh, i have a, i was a certified chiropractic extremity extremity adjuster so when someone came in to me i didn't just adjust the spine it was the cranial bones and the knees and the ankles and the fingers and the ribs and the sternum and all of that those things we had some things some shifts happen in in my family that caused me to go looking for things to fix brains mm -hmm. in a three-year period we had a suicide and murder and another death in my close family and prescription drugs and counseling were not working so I went on a journey to try to find things to help my daughter's brains and my granddaughters who were uh, reeling from these, these, these traumas that we had, which led me to neurofeedback 
and I went and got board certified in reading QEEGs, which is the electrical balance in the brain. So I could, you know, passion without knowledge can be dangerous. <laughs> I was really passionate about driving when I was 13. I just didn't know how to do it yet. So I went and got a uh, specialized education on looking at the brain. I, and I made that transition to where I don't do chiropractic. It's a little bit of a long explanation, but it's necessary to understand how I got to this place. Yeah. You know, it's been said that sometimes from our own personal pain, our greatest passion is realized. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about your children. That gets right. pretty personal. And you went on this journey to try to understand. And what I heard you say just a moment ago was treating the whole patient versus the, the, the medical model today that seems to only treat symptoms. So when we're talking about these copper peptides that you've alluded to, how important are they in the body? Let's start with the brain because the brain runs the show. If the brain is telling you it's not time to digest food, it's not going to happen. That's all the autonomic nervous system, right? Um, so getting back to this peptide and the brain, we talked about the brain is where it starts. It is the GHK copper peptide that transports copper through the blood brain barrier to get it where it's needed to make neurons, synapses, um, BDNF, which is brain derived neurotropic factor. That's the substance your body makes when you're doing new things. That's what neuroplasticity is all about. So you have to have copper to make those things. It is this peptide that transports it into the brain to start that process. Now this copper peptide, GHKCU, was discovered by another doctor, Dr. Lauren Picard, more than 50 years ago. So you somehow took an interest in all that <laughs> and dove deep into it and discovering what GHK does for the body and the other well-known copper peptide, AHK. Correct. So explain the difference maybe between the two because sure. we're eventually going to land on the topic of reverse aging which seems like a holy grail topic, almost right. like something that maybe we just remember from Indiana Jones, but <laughs> it's real and it's happening. So kind of make that connection, I guess, between these two copper peptides. And, and then let's talk about the uh, age reversing potential. Sure. Well, I, I was elevating my GHK copper peptide for four and a half months I had some um, lifelong issues with what are called PVCs or preventricular contractions in my heart. Um, I had a knee replacement surgery coming up and some people might ask, why didn't you just let it regenerate itself? Well, my surgeon said, I've never seen anything like your knee. You had zero cartilage. It was bone on bone. How were you walking? Mm -hmm. um, so I had this surgery coming up and my heart started to do, to do some funny things that I thought were bad that were, and I was really worried. So I had my first stress echocardiogram done at, after I'd been elevating my GHK carbon peptide for about four and a half months. It came back and I found out something that I did not know prior to that time. And that was that I had a right bundle branch block my heart for those of you who don't know that has to do with the, the electrical impulses going to your right ventricle which pumps blood after it's come back to the heart it pumps it to the lungs so you can get oxygen and then back to the heart and then out to the body so i looked that up first of all he said yeah your heart responded well to exercise uh you just have these pvcs and a right bundle branch block and i said well what causes that he said well our in our entire body, cells get old and your body kills them off or they die. The same is true in the heart. You're supposed to replace them. Our, our, bodies, our bodies kill off 50 to 70 billion cells a day with a B because they're old, they're sick, they're dying, they need to be replaced. So he says you have these, uh, we have that same thing occurring in the heart. You just can't replace them fast enough. And the light went on and I thought, I've been, because the GHK copper peptide elevates our own stem cell production, 
This is my thought. I have no proof of it. This is just me thinking what what went on, what could possibly have caused things to get to start to get better. So I thought I've been elevating my stem cells because that's what this peptide does. Yeah, and that's scientifically proven that this GHK copper peptide helps the body generate stem cells, which are the building blocks of our bodies, right? So whatever part you need to repair yes. in, you need these building blocks to occur. It actually turns on the genes that tell your body to make more of your own stem cells. Yeah, and this is in stark comparison to, of course, what is popular for people to get stem cell injections, which we know are controversial, risky, very expensive, and you just don't know what you're getting. But if our bodies can produce their own stem cells, now that's a whole new range of comfort that people can relax in, correct? Which, which begs the question, why is it that people travel all over the world and spend five, 10, 50 grand? 20,000. I've talked to doctors who do the injections. I heard somebody at the original, when they first started doing them, mortgage their house for 70 grand to go down to Mexico. Well, why would they do that? It's because it changes the outcome. It changes the outcome of whatever they have. And so they spend this money, their life savings or just my cost, I had both of my knees injected. My cost for the little vial that was about as big as the tip of my pinky was 2500 each. That's what I could buy it from the suppl supplier. Yeah. Sorry, I touched my mic. Uh, so, if you could uh, increase your own stem cells, that potentially changes the outcome. Just like if you got stem cells from someone else. Right. It's been said, desperate people do desperate things, and pain will cause you to do almost anything to get out Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. But there is a cost affordability to that. And as you mentioned, some people have gone to great extents. They've, they've mortgaged everything just to get out of the pain and get back to living younger, feeling younger, acting younger, and doing the things that life has a cruel way of taking away from us. Right. You know, the golden years aren't so golden sometimes, you know? So here we have this awareness that's been created, GHK, direct link to, to stem cells, irrefutable, can't challenge it. It's been around for more than In 50 the research. years. Now the question is, how can we do it on a more cost-affordable basis? Well, this is what I talk about in the book. So I, and, and when I had the I, I, idea, you asked me, how did I get to that point with that research? The way I got there is because I had that first stress echo done. A year and a half later, I had another stress echo done. Right bundle branch block, no longer present. And I'm thinking... How in the heck did that happen? I put together three different PowerPoint presentations over a year, and I thought, ah, this really sucks. This was really labor intensive trying to find all this research. Somebody needs to put this into a book. And it was almost like this download hit me. And it was, you got to tell people, how do you get the GHK copper peptide? Well, my buddy down the street who treats alternative, he does alternative cancer care, uses this peptide as part of his anti-cancer protocols Ooh. because of its effect on uh, different cancer uh, control benefits. So I said, somebody's got to tell the story. How do you get them? You can get them in an IV. You can get them in an injection. You can get them in a cream or a lotion from a dermatologist. Or there's this innovative patch that through a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled study was shown when you wear the patch, it actually signals your body. You don't, it doesn't have GHK in it, but it signals your body to make more of your own. Right. Now, for our audience, we are here in Dallas, Texas at the World Conference for LifeWave celebrating its 20th year in business. And I know people ask the question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> so, and I wasn't sure, but we t discussed off camera that you were into all of this, and as a result, the book came. So... The answer to the question is, you found out about LifeWave patches at a time that just came together beautiful for you to then write a book on it. So talk then about your, you, you touched on the patches, the, it's the X39 patch that in particular. So for our audience, talk a little bit more, more as a health practitioner, what that has meant for you and, and your patients. 
Well, my practice is all about helping people with brain issues now. I don't do chiropractic anymore. Um, this, the impetus for that was the stuff that happened in my family that set me on this course. But I, I'm going to mention one thing because I'm going to tie it into the doctors who may be watching this. And in the midst of this transition, I went to a dentist to have some dental work done and he had to put a dental dam in. And I, I get pretty anxious and claustrophobic, everybody in my face. So he put me under you, conscious. You're talking to one. I'm claustrophobic <laughs> too. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not going to do that. So he put me under constant sedation. And while I was out, he decided to do a root canal without my permission. That was my response. Actually, mine was a lot more severe. And I woke up and he said, yeah, that was so bad. I had to do a root canal. And I, the only time in my life I thought, I could burn this building down. <laughs> you know, I, I felt so betrayed and, and violated. Um, and a week later, my right wrist puffed up like a football and I had a bone infection from the root canal. So my idea of what my retirement was going to look like ended. And I look at it now that a new door opened up, but <laughs> it looked like the end because the doctor came in and said, if we don't do surgery, you got about a 50% chance of making it. If we do surgery, you have a 100% chance you're not going to bend your wrist again. It's kind of not a, really great odds. Kind of a Sophie's choice? Yeah. Which child do you want to go to the gas chamber, yeah. you know? So after I did a little bit of this, feeling sorry for myself, I said, you know what? I get to write the end of my story. Amen. It's right. And the rest of the story was while I was recovering at home for two and a half months with this that doesn't bend anymore. It's stuck like that. It doesn't do this. I studied to get board certified in QEEG and neurofeedback. Off I went in a different direction. And I say that for the doctors who might see this, that you probably ought to build a plan B while you still have your plan A because the way you thought you might go into retirement has a pretty high probability that it might go, not go down like that. And so to actually build something while you still have your practice is a huge, huge deal. And I brought that up because that's what made me open. My friend called me up and said, what do you know about stem cells? I said, well, I've had them injected in both of my knees. And then he said, what if you could put a little patch on your body and you, your body would be signaled to make more of your own stem cells? Cognitive. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, whoa, wait, wait, wait. The light's coming on here. But you know what? When I saw it, there's something inside of me that said, this is going to be huge. And I had two and a half months. I started in April of 2020, right when the COVID thing started. And we were shamed into closing as well. I had two and a half months. That's all I did was tell all my friends and help my family and friends feel better, get better, look better. And then went back into my full-time practice. So that's what I've been doing ever since is I still have Clear Mind Idaho. As a doctor of now, what, 35 years of practice? 35 Here's a company that for the last 17 years has focused on age reversing. And it's happening through this process of the body being able to generate its own stem cells, which are the repair agents of the body, as we've discussed. But the benefits that accrue are enormous. Like we see picture after picture after picture after testimony after testimony. And I always say, you know, it's one thing for a company to say what it says about its product, but when it comes out of the mouth of the people using the product, that's a whole new world. And this is what we're seeing. And I know you've built a whole business on this experience of your own Correct. and the technology that LifeWave offers. But then, because of the, the science part of my brain, I wanted to have the validation from the science because there's been research, um, there have been research project papers written since 1977 on 
how this peptide works. And so my opinion is we have, I don't know how many million testimonials globally. If you can match that or pair that with testimonials and the science. Okay. And now you have even more, um, I can't even think of the, 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 the emotion that has the highest vibration, authenticity. Yes. So now you have even more authenticity if you have testimonial stories from your friends and your own. But now, this is what the research says that validates all of that. So being the science guy, and we have hundreds of doctors all over the world yes. that are involved with LifeWave patches right now. What did you think of the science when you saw it? Because LifeWave has more than 80 clinical studies to back up the efficacy of the product. So you're a, you say you, you're a science mind. A lot of doctors are. What did you think of when you saw all that research done? This is the, the, main, the main point that makes this valid for doctors. So in order to determine any potential benefit of the X39, which is based on a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled study showing that wearing that patch elevates the GHK copper peptide. So to determine the potential benefit of that, knowing that it elevates GHK, we turn to the science. There's 91 references to the science in the book that I wrote that validates all of the... Um, testimonials that I've heard, thousands of them. Well, how in the heck did that happen? How did the right bundle branch block go away? Well, there's 18 chapters that talk about yeah, all yeah. of those reasons. And this is the book that's, that, that comes directly from the Dr. Harmon wrote, which is he's been busy selling books like crazy here <laughs> at the LifeWave conference. And I had the pleasure of meeting you last year at the Orlando conference. Right. Uh, and it was amazing to see. And, and so when I decided to do a podcast, one of the segments is age reversing health. And it, it's, it's a bit of a, uh, you know, it kind of catches people off guard. Like what? But there is a real difference. Like we're living in a world now, the, the, the anti-aging industry uh, is estimated to be at about $62 billion in, in, in the cosmetic. Yeah, the anti-aging right. one. But there's a big difference between anti-aging and age reversal. Right. So let's draw a little bit of a line on that because people need to know anti-aging is a multi, multi-billion dollar business. In 24, I think it's going to hit over $100 billion. But we're not talking that. No. We're talking reversal. It's kind now of a new, a new industry or new concept. I did a presentation a few weeks ago and it was the top things that cause us to age faster and die younger and how the GHK copper peptide mitigates or how it affects every single one of those from telomere shortening, genomic instability, cardiovascular health, anti-cancer, and on and on, stem cell activation. So some of my goals in life are, I wanna remember who I am when I'm old. I don't wanna be meeting a new person in my house every 15 minutes, in 51st dates, every day. Yeah. Hey, who are you? Uh, I want to be able to walk around pain free. And I want to be the one that gets to travel to go visit people instead of having, you know, being homebound or hooked up to machines and people have to come and see me. If those things are true when you're 90, you got it going on, right? There's a lot yeah. of good stuff going on. So I, I tie that all together in that presentation about how to reverse aging so that those things don't happen. When you consider the action, the action of stem cells, it's not just preventing it from getting worse. It's not what stem, stem cell therapy is all about. And that's why I said that people will travel all over the world because it changes the outcome. Um, so if you can somehow either get stem cells or elevate your own, it changes the outcome. It helps regenerate things, skin, hair, joint cartilage, your organs, 
one of the main functions uh, known throughout the literature with the GHK is that it repairs collagen. So what in your body is made of collagen? Everything. Everything. The structure yeah. of your arteries, your organs, your skin, bone. Everybody thinks about calcium. Doctors have almost brainwashed people into thinking that calcium makes strong bones. Actually, it makes brittle bones if you don't have the protein matrix. It's the protein which is made of collagen, our skin, our bones, everything's made of collagen. So I tell people, don't get too hooked up or don't hold on to symptoms that you may or may not have when you are elevating your GHK carbapeptide. Because I, my personal opinion is the benefits of, we of wearing this patch, most of them you will never even know about. Well, there's a saying. It, it, I didn't it, know I had a right it, bundle branch block. There's a saying in our group that normal is noticeable as well. So, you know, it's important to document these things. Like we have verifiable evidence, but the evidence that people record for themselves, the pictures they take, the blood analysis, which we strongly recommend, get good blood work done before you start or at the beginning, you know, it all can be measured out because, you know, you, you said something a minute ago, and this is really important for people listening, is that it's not the quantity, it's the quality of life. We know there's a huge difference between health span and lifespan. Right. They're, they're cousins, they're bookends, but they're very different. So we're talking about increasing the health span. Where now people who are, have been using the patch and elevating their GHK copper peptide are seeing that, yes, chronologically, they're 65, but they can actually be tested. And some are as young as 20 years younger now after using the product. I can tell you, I feel at least 20 years younger than I did. I feel well, you got great that, energy, just like myself, because I don't know how, what the age difference is here, but I feel like I'm back in my early 40s. Well, I just had my 70th a couple of months Congratulations, ago. Congratulations, you look great. And to be able, once you dive deeper into the book, you, you talk about um, vascular repair, you know, cardiovascular system, but it also assists in the transport of oxygen. It also assists in, you know, where there's a deprivation of Oxygen, whether it's your heart or your muscles. Let's say you're working out, you're trying to build muscle. When you see a bodybuilding contest, they talk about vascularization. Ooh, look at the veins on that guy. That all starts with the GHK carbon peptide. Because where there's a deprivation of oxygen, there's a signal that's sent down. We need more GHK down here to enzymatically poke holes in the muscle to grow capillaries into it. Whether it's the heart, a decrease in oxygen in the heart or a muscle, it all starts with the GHK. Yeah, absolutely fundamental to good health. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, David Schmidt, the CEO, the founder and the inventor of the LifeWave Patches once said that uh, it isn't just about looking younger. Right. It's about feeling younger. He says, if it was just about looking younger, wouldn't that just be about vanity then? So we touched on the anti-aging industry, which people are chasing that young look. But we have products that take the age reversing into the body. So it's actually reverse aging from inside out. Right. You mentioned organs that are being better cared for as we elevate these naturally occurring peptides in the body. So anti-aging, age reversal, yeah, they're in the same neighborhood, but they're very different. And we're talking about quality of life. It's so important as we age that, you know, whether you have grandkids or not, you know, want to get down on the floor, well, getting down is not hard because anyone can fall down. <laughs> it's the getting up that right. can be hard. So all that speaks to the, qual the, the quality of life that you can experience by reversing your age. Absolutely. So anti-aging would be freeze-framing what you have. I'm not going to age more. Reverse aging would be repairing what you have and restoring it to a, new, a newer state. Yeah. So that's reverse aging. Yeah, amazing. Well, as we come to a close here, I just want you to send a message out because a lot of people are, are watching this and wondering, is this just some snake oil? Is this just an illusion? Is it somebody just trying to sell a book? It, what's LifeWave, 20 years? Well, it's a legacy company now. But as you're talking to people and you meet so many, what do you say to them, you know, uh, in terms of this product and the potential 
to age reverse, as you talk about in your book? Well, I try to keep it really simple at first um, and talk to people and see what they know about stem cells. If, if someone doesn't know what stem cells do, it's kind of hard to have a further conversation with. So establish that those are the cells. I call them, they are cells that haven't decided what they want to be when they grow up. And so they're created and they go, oh, hey, Carl needs some uh, stem cells or in liver cells or no bone cells. Kind of like a chameleon. Okay, I'll, I'll be that. That's what stem cells do. So if you need, like me, I needed them in my heart. And I really truly believe that stem cells will, we're in the hotel lobby, can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> stem, cells, stem cells will go to your most life-threatening places first. This is why it was my heart. If you look up right bundle branch block, if you Google it, all cause mortality goes up. Yet they don't do anything about it when you go to the cardiologist. What are you going to do about that? No, we'll just watch it. We'll just watch it. <laughs> so for the people that are, you know, as you said, it goes where it's needed. The, cop, the, the stem cells go to where they're most needed. Some people are looking, obviously, for specific areas to, to address. Maybe it's their sleep. Maybe it's their energy. Maybe it's the pain factor there. But for people that are embarking on this journey, what do you do to encourage them if they're not getting the necessary results that they so desperately want to see? What do you say to them about the product and staying with the game plan? Do you want the sarcastic view? <laughs> I want you to give me both because I know you've got a great sense of humor. Well, well, first of all, people will say, how long should I use these? Uh, do I have to keep using them? Forever? After this, whatever, one month for every decade of your life. And I say, here's what I would do if I were you. When you want the aging process to start at the normal speed, stop you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, think about that. That's right. If I'm reversing <laughs> in my age, would I ever want would to I stop? Would I want to stop? Would I want to stop? Yeah. No. And, and, and then they realize, yeah, that was kind of a, I don't know. I don't want to call it a dumb question because it's just a question. But I try to point out to them, it's important if you do want to continue that, that course of repairing and regeneration to keep using them. And I, I, I put it in simple terms. Once you start elevating your stem cells and it starts to rebuild your house, you don't want to stop with your house half built. You want to keep going and you want to regenerate. And life happens. We have oxidative stress every single day. We have things that cause our bodies to take a hit. And it's not that that somebody is never going to take a hit. We're all going to have stress. We're all, you know, things happen. Deaths happen. Um, losing a job, getting divorced, getting in an accident, getting sick. Yeah. It's not that those things are going to happen. Is that how prepared are we so that we don't go down? Okay, now we're down here. And if we don't get back up there, this is our starting point. And then another hit. And you've seen people, you know, so-and-so had so much stress. They went through all this stress for two years. And then they got cancer and died. Cancer, you know, if you're, you have a strong immune system, and I'm not making claims about cancer. Let me put it in, different, in a different perspective. If you have a weak immune system, you cannot kill the cancer cells that will form because we all get them forming at some point. And our immune system targets and takes care of business. Yeah. So the whole thing is be the best you can be in preparation of things that will happen so that you don't go down into frailty and disability. Exactly. Well, again, we've been speaking with Dr. John Harmon, the author of How to Reverse Aging. We're here at the LifeWave 2024 World Conference where there's going to be a lot talking about age reversing and better health all naturally. I want to thank you so much for your time. It was it's been great. an absolute great pleasure to speak with you. I enjoyed it. Great.